In the quiet misty morning, when the moon has gone to bed, when the sparrows stop their singing, and the sky is clear and red, when the summer sees its gleaming, when the corn is past its prime, when adventure's lost its meaning, I'll be homeward bound in time. Bind me not to the past year, chain me not to the plough, set me free to find my calling, and I'll return to you somehow. I, along with many of you, love music. In a survey among public and private high school students this year, 83 out of 100 surveyed replied as having been required to or chose to take a music class in elementary or middle school. I'm sure that applies to many of you as well. Another survey was taken among middle school students and shockingly only 34 replied as having been able to take music previously. The difference shows how drastically music has become less and less involved and funded for in schools today. The Florida Singing Sons Boy Choir, or FSSB, is a nonprofit out of school choir for boys ages 7 to 18, and I've been a chorister for nine years. Although I went to a school where music was still part of our curriculum, I quickly learned that a lot of my friends in FSSB didn't have that opportunity. FSSB helps bring music to boys who may not be fortunate enough to experience it in school, it helps open their eyes to music, which is a beautiful gift of life. Founded in 1975, the Florida Singing Sons continues the tradition of boy choirs, the oldest surviving being the Vienna Boys Choir, founded in 1498. The fascination with boys' voices roots from the fact that before puberty, boys are able to sing soprano and alto, and after puberty, their voices change to be a tenor or bass register, our choir is made up of a myriad of boys from different ethnicities, races, and customs, making it a melting pot of both people and music. Unfortunately, today, FSSB is in a bit of a pinch. Even though we're not affiliated with a particular school, due to the lack, due to the lack of importance music has in the system today, many schools do not even want to let our choirs in to audition them, to audition boys. We have fewer, fewer joining now than ever. Because of this, we need you to donate just $10 to help our choristers. The recent lack of boys has decreased the funds in the choir, requiring us to re rely more on donations. Your donation can help a boy pay for his tuition. Some of our choristers are unable to pay the yearly tuition, so you can help waive those costs for boys who need it. Tuition helps pay for renting venues, purchasing music, and maintaining our rehearsal building. There have been days where we have to turn off the AC to save money, but the room ends up reeking like a boy. Why donate to us specifically? Well, the experience we provide is truly one of a kind. Former University of Miami professor Dr. Craig Dennison said in a telephone call this past week, the Singing Sons are as hardworking and musically apt as some collegiate level choirs I've worked with. The biggest differences are FSSB is full of guys who are there because they enjoy what they do, and you could smell the BO in my UM choir a lot more. Our choir's activities aren't just limited to music. We have camps, hangouts, and trips. The youngest boys get to perform at Disney, but middle and high schoolers get to go out of state and out of country. This is only possible through your donations. If you donate to us, it's not just a give and go situation. The most popular, popular way to donate is to attend performances. We've, we've grown to be domestically and internationally renowned because we've made some pretty good music in the past. With fewer choristers now, however, it's becoming harder and harder to maintain that status. The Boy Choir's webpage furthers our excellence by explaining, FSSB is an elite youth choir organization that communicates the transformative and unifying power of choral music through a rich and varied repertoire. Our selection of music is in performance will be enjoyable regardless of your musical tastes. If you're busy on our performance day, however, don't fret. There are alternative methods to donate. For those of you who fancy online shopping, we recently created an Amazon Smile page, so 0.5% of all of your checkout costs goes straight to us. Another method to donate is to send in a check or cash through mail. I've had family members send in $5 before, but if you want to add a zero to, I won't stop you. 
I will, the reason most people prefer attending performances and buying tickets is because it's fun. The satisfaction in donating is always present among all of our, among all of our audience members. We have surveys after almost all of our performances, and the only negative feedback we receive is along the lines of, you know, a certain mistake in a song, or I was too distracted by the boy's good looks. Being part of the audience is especially enjoyable when your input is invoked. It ranges from audible laughter to joining us in song. In our 12 days of Christmas, audience members are assigned a specific day to sing along with when it goes through in sequence with the song. Even if you don't react to a piece, just having you as part of the audience means a lot to the boys. The low amount of boys we have causes a lower audience turnout because less people are invited. If the audience is small or a boy's family isn't present, their emotional output is greatly reduced. Contrarily, a large audience with familiar faces gets the boys' hearts pumping and helps benefit our organization because they enjoy it more. If you can come, invite your parents, other friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, your neighbor's dog, anyone else. It really helps us. To conclude, the Florida Singing Sons Boy Choir needs your help. By attending a concert, you not only support our cause, but you also benefit an organization that, from experience, can change lives. Our choristers not only grow as musicians, but they also grow as people, too. Even without donating, you can greatly help by spreading awareness of our choir. If you know a boy that loves to sing, please contact us, and we'll be more than happy to audition him. In a time where schools look past the importance of music in children's lives, Helping FSSB helps aids both the choir as a whole and the individual choristers. The significance of the Florida Singing Sons in my life can be summed up perfectly with the words of Fernando Malvar Ruiz, the conductor of the American Boy Choir, in a speech he gave us at a choral festival in 2015. When you talk to another man, you two become friends, but when you sing with that man, you two then become brothers. I've made plenty of brothers through this choir. Your donation can help other boys make many more. Thank you.